Hey Bookaholics, it's Isabel and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a tour of my TBR shelf. If you watched my other video, what I've read so far in 2020, or my TBR video, you will know I have a lot of books that I still need to read. I organize them based on to be read and read. So this side is all the books I have read so far. It's a full shelf and this is the side that I have to still read and it is a full shelf again. I have over 127 books to read. I'm currently reading one and I'm almost done that one so technically I have 126 books I still need to read but is coming along. I want to share all the books I have that I still need to read. There's a lot. This might be a long video. Join me and see just how many books I still need to read. Here is my to be read shelf. And just ignore the Edward doll there. This is the top shelf here. These are pretty much all the contemporary ones that I have. I've organized them by color. And then we have the second shelf here. These ones are still contemporary, but it eventually goes into my LG BTQ books. There's more in the third shelf here and then it goes into the paperback books I have and then it goes into my romance and then just kind of the adult books I have and then these ones I put together because they are so tall that they couldn't go anywhere else. And then again, ignore the Edward doll here. And then we have just different books here. So we have kind of the series ones. The first one here is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston, Michigan vs. the Boys by Carrie S. Allen, Definitions of Indefinable Things by Whitney Taylor, Always Never Yours by Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegman Broca, Amanda Chow, <laughs> American Panda by Gloria Chow, Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strom, Fan the Fame by Anna Primaza, Foolish Hearts by Emily Mills, Dear Evan Hansen by Val Emich with Steven Levinson, Benj Pasek and Justin Paul, Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch, Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Aficito, Nice Try Jane Sinner by Leanne Oakley, probably butchered that name, but it's okay. Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. The Exact Opposite of Okay by Laura Steven. Pride by Ibby Zoboy. A Girl Like That by Tanaza Bathina. The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. Asking For It by Louise O'Neill. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. Four Weeks, Five People by Jennifer Yu. There's Something About Sweetie by Sanjay Menon. Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertelli and Aisha Sehaid. Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. How to Make Friends with the Dark by Kathleen Glasgow. The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. The Field Guide to the North American Teen by Ben Phillip, The Wicker King by Kay Ancrum, A Trick of the Light by Lois Metzger, Heroin by Mindy McGuinness, True Letters from a Fictional Life by Kenneth Logan, The Music of What Happens by Bill Konigsberg, Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi, The Meaning of Birds by J. Robin Brown, Ship It by Britta Ludden, Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colther, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. Birthday by Meredith Russo. The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. Anger is a Gift by Mark Oshiro. Like a Love Story by Abdi Naziman. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. We Contain Molecules by Sarah Henstra. The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. Hero by Perry Moore. You Ask for Perfect by Laura Silverman. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Looking for Alaska by John Green. A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. This Song Will Save Your Life by Leela Sale. Shooter by Carol 
Marilyn Pigment, Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, Meat Market by Juno Dawson, The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, A Tragic Kind of Wonderful by Eric Lindstrom, 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, One Day in December by Josie Silver, Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey, The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams, Faker by Sarah Smith, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore, Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher, The Storyteller by Jody Peacold, Lone Wolf by Jody Peacold, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, Aisha at Last by Uzma Jaladun, don't You Forget About Me by Vari McFarland, Surprise Me by Sophie Kinsella, I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella, Between the Lines by Jody Peacold and Samantha Van Leer, Off the Page by Jody Peacold and Samantha Van Leer, Leaving Time by Jody Peacold, A Spark of Light by Jody Peacold, Again But Better by Christine Riccio, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, the Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. Circe by Madeline Miller. The Red Pyramid, The Throne of Fire, and The Serpent Shadow by Rick Riordan, all in the Cain Chronicles. The Dark Prophecy and The Burning Maze, both by Rick Riordan. Aru Shaw and the End of Time by Roshani Chukowski. Choshki, I'm not too sure how to say that. The Bells by Danielle Clayton. The Sun and Her Flowers, Milk and Honey, both by Rupi Kaur. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. The Caged Queen by Kristen Cicerelli. A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. War Cross by Mary Lou. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott, Peter Pan and Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens by J.M. Barry, Half-Blood Blues by Essie Edugon, A Court and Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass, Such a Fun Age by Keely Reed, Lovely War by Julie Berry, Twilight, the special 10th anniversary edition, Life and Death, both by Stephanie Mayer, Queen of Air and Darkness, by Cassandra Clare, The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu, Shadow of the Fox by Julie Tagwa, The Wicked King by Holly Black, Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, Capturing the Devil, all by Carrie Maniscalco, The Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell, Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adiemi. Okay, so those are all of my TBR books. I'm hoping you guys are still here. It took a bit of time, but I'm glad I did it. I was able to look at every single book that I still have to read. And it's kind of overwhelming, but it's also just nice to know that I do own these books, that I can read them anytime I want, but at the same time, it's just like, I have way too many books and it's time to start to actually read them so I can declutter, even just like be able to put some of these books in a box. Even if I'm gonna keep them, just kind of get them off the shelf until I can get a bigger shelf, but then I can still add books because that's my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not always the biggest fan of book tours. Well, like me doing them, I enjoy watching them, but doing them is so exhausting and it just so time consuming but I am glad I'm able to show you all my books because honestly I'm not gonna be able to do a book haul because I have no idea what books I have bought since I last did a video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and just give this video a thumbs up. If you did, comment down below all your TBR books whether you have way too many that you are putting yourself on a book ban. Like, it's pretty easy in this environment because all the bookstores are closed, but you can still order online, but like, I'm holding myself back from that. I don't need to do it. Any hooser, hope you guys enjoyed it and have a good rest of your day. Bye.